welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Jigsaw Mystery in the Mail by Bob Graham. Well, this family receives a package in the mail, and they don't know who it's from, and it's a jigsaw puzzle. Well, they decide to work on that puzzle, and there's one piece missing. Wonder where that one piece is. Let's see if they find it. No one knew who sent it. It arrived one day all covered with stamps, a beautiful jigsaw, an African sunrise. Good luck to you all, was all the card said. The Kellys stood there and undid the wrapping. Oh, let's do it, said Kitty and Katie and Mom. I've got time on my hands, said Dad, and set his watch to late autumn. And as you can see, a piece of the puzzle fell off, and it looks like maybe the dog had it on his back, and it fell off, and Mom has vacuumed it up. Let's get started, said the Kellys. Early in winter, they completed the edges. Kitty and Katie and Lucy helped, too. The girls went out playing in spring and in summer, but Dad kept his head down just getting it done. With autumn approaching, they sorted the colors as a beautiful dawn began to emerge. The hippos swim shorts, said Dad. One piece is missing. They looked high and low. They looked under Kitty. They looked under Lucy and everywhere else. Then Mom stopped and she thought, Yes, she did some hard thinking. I think I've got it, said Mom. Where is it, they said. Went out in the trash, she whispered. We'll find it, Dad said, if it takes us all autumn. Oh, let's do it, said Kitty and Katie and Mom. Dad looked at his watch and the leaves started falling. Jigsaw piece missing. Hippo swim shorts, Dad said, and the man stroked his chin. Yes, people come looking, but they don't often find them. Try the pile at the end. Some hopes what we need to see things a bit clearer. Let's start here then, said Katie. Should it take long? I don't know. That's a lot of trash, isn't it? There were letters of love from faraway places, letters of sorrow, notes of forgiveness, bus tickets, train tickets, cards saying thank you, and newspapers old and forgotten in time. Old confetti from weddings, a sock no one wanted, a note that said, I'll meet you at 20 to 9, and sorry for your troubles attached to old flowers. Get well, said another, sealed with a kiss. There were shopping lists, too many to mention, an old soldier's photo, yellow with age, and ever so often a breeze would lift them and put them back down like fa falling rain. The Kellys looked up, they looked down. Let's look at it this way, said Dad. It's waiting around and we'll find us again. That's wishful thinking, said Mom. Let's wish then, said Katie. And they sadly went home. Through the front door back into the kitchen, it was Dad's foot that had now lost it. It was Kitty who found it. Can't believe that we missed it. Must have been there the whole time. So with Autumn here with them, the puzzle was finished. It was Kitty who placed it, her sister who straightened it, the hippo found his swim shorts, and the sun came out up out of Africa. To whoever it was who sent them the puzzle, Katie wrote back with pictures by Kitty. Our love to you too, and hope this card finds you. Katie and Kitty Kelly. She addressed it to nowhere, and Mom said, Well, they have to live somewhere, so Katie changed it to somewhere with enough stamps to cover its travels. <clears throat> and with a hope and a wish, and it shouldn't take long, they went into autumn twilight. Kitty dropped it in the mailbox, a small boat on a 
wide ocean of letters. Well, they never found out who sent the puzzle, but wasn't it funny that that puzzle piece was on the bottom of Dad's shoe all the time? It was just stuck there, wasn't it? And they're lucky that they found it. Have you ever worked a puzzle and when you got to the end there was one piece missing? I have, and it's not fun. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.